Hey everyone, this is Jack, and I just wanted to give a quick peek at uh, the new Linux virtual machine that we put together. Um, it has all the Papilio tools, the Papilio loader, uh, and it also has the ZPU Uino, the uh, ZPU Uino Arduino derived uh, IDE, and it also has the ZPU Uino toolchain. It doesn't yet have the AVR8 Arduino IDE, um, but we're working on getting that in place. But this is the quickest and easiest way to get up and running with Linux and the ZPU we know. Um, and we created this at SUSE Studio. It made it really easy for us to make a, a VM that we can maintain and easily upgrade. Um, and it also it creates a bootable CD image, a USB thumb drive image, and also a VMware image. Um, we're booting up the VMware image right now using the free VMware player. So you can actually go to Linux, or I'm sorry, you can go to VMware and download their free version of the player and uh, download our Papilio Linux virtual machine and you can get up and running uh, pretty quickly under Linux. Okay, so it's uh, just about to finish up its booting process and uh, it automatically will start up the ZPU Uno IDE and it will also bring up the Papilio web page for you so you can uh, look up any hardware that you, you any references for the hardware or anything you need okay so we're all booted up and here we have the um, ZPU Uno version of the Arduino IDE you can look and you see under board it has the Papilio 1 to 50k and uh, 500k board defined you just select that uh, make sure you add the uh, removable device, the Papilio board, make sure you connect it, and uh, you should be able to load a sketch and, and upload it to the board. All right, uh, you also see this is the Papilio website. So you can uh, drop down to the GNOME terminal, and uh, the Papilio loader is uh, in the path and ready to go. Uh, you can load a bitstream. Let's see, there's one in uh, all the tools are installed in opt. Factory, helper app, quick start. All right, oh, and I just remembered actually that uh, we need to run this as sudo and pick up the environment. The password is Papilio. All the passwords on the system are set to Papilio. And uh, there you have it. Uh, we just uploaded a bit file. Okay, uh, now the other cool thing is you can, uh, it's got the VMware tools installed, so you can resize everything on the fly. And you can use this to actually extend it across multiple monitors. And maybe I'll record a little clip showing how to do that. Okay, so uh, here's a quick look at uh, extending the Linux virtual machine across multiple desktops. It's uh, actually a pretty handy feature. All right, so we're going to extend it to one desktop. And it uh, changes the resolution on the fly. Then you hit this to make it spread across both your desktops, or if you have more than uh, two, I suppose you could do that as well. I'm not really sure on that. But uh, so this is in the Linux virtual machine. Uh, multiple desktops or multiple monitors so uh, pretty cool